Hello, my name is Tyler Horde. I'm in the fifth grade at Timber Ridge Elementary School, and I'm here to tell you that failure is success. So, what if I couldn't fail? What if I couldn't fail? That is the question. Well, I decided to take that to a bigger scale. Anyone could say I would become an Olympian, a doctor, or even a lawyer, but that's boring. So why not think of the world as a different point of view for once? That brings me back to the initial question. What if I knew I couldn't fail? Well, there's only one problem with that. What would we learn? I mean, if no one could fail, what would we accomplish? If no one ever failed, the Wright brothers would have never built the airplane. If you have the will and ambition to be persistent enough, you can accomplish anything. The two Wright brothers never gave up and pursued their dream. And with the help of all their failures, in 1903, they were finally able to fly 12 seconds. The Wright brothers are one example of somebody who's good at learning from their failures. Without failure, modern day flights would be impossible. Nobody does anything perfect the first time, such as NASA. One example of this would be with the Hubble telescope. The mission was to allow astronomers to view stars in high graphics from outer space. Once the telescope made it to space, they realized the lens moved due to zero gravity. But like the Wright brothers, they were very good at trial and error. Since then, the lens has been replaced. Over several years, the NASA has learned lots of information from trial and error, and they encourage others to do so too. One personal example of failure would be when I learned how to juggle. I didn't just pick up the juggling balls and magically learn how to juggle. It took lots of hard work and dedication. And with every single time I dropped that juggling ball, I learned something. I learned that hard work and dedication will eventually pay off. And without failure, I wouldn't have learned that important lesson, which is hard work and dedication eventually pays off. It doesn't matter a big mistake or a little one. It still drives us further. All these mistakes really make up the world around us, even if you don't notice it. But nobody does anything right the first time, which may be better than if we did. I'd like to give a thank you to nps.gov and popsci.com for information on NASA and the Wright Brothers.